In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can add three fractions together, that is three fractions with different denominators. So before we can add these fractions together, we need to get a common denominator. A quick and simple way to find a common denominator is to multiply the three denominators of these fractions. So if we multiply two times, three times five, three times five is 15. 15 times two is 30. So 30 is a common denominator. It may or may not be the least common denominator, but it is a common denominator. Now, to convert each fraction to a denominator of 30, here's what you can do. So the first fraction, I'm going to multiply it using the denominators of the other two fractions. Three times five is 15. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by 15 over 15. For the second fraction, I'm going to use the denominators of the other two fractions. Two times five is 10. I'm going to multiply this fraction by 10 over 10. Now, for the third fraction, I'm going to use the denominators of the other two fractions, two and three. So I'm going to multiply the third fraction by two times three, which is six. Now let's do the math. 15 times one is 15. Two times 15 is 30. Two times 10 is 20. Three times 10 is 30. Three times six is 18. Five times six is 30. So now I have a common denominator of 30, which means I can now add the numerators of the three fractions, 15 plus 20, that's 35. 35 plus 18 is 53. So the final answer is going to be 53 over 30, and we can convert this to a mixed number. Thirty goes into 53 one time with a remainder of 23. So the final answer is one and 23 over 30. Now, for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on another example. Let's say we have one over six plus two over nine plus three over five. Feel free to pause the video and try this example. Two hundred seventy is a common denominator. It may not be the least common denominator, but nevertheless, we can still work with it. So, I'm going to use the same technique as I did before. The first fraction. I'm going to multiply it by the denominators of the other two fractions. Nine times five is 45. So I'm going to multiply by 45 over 45. For the middle fraction. I'm going to use the denominators of the other two fractions, six and five. So I'm going to multiply by 30 over 30. For the last fraction, I'm going to use the denominators of the other two fractions. Six times nine is 54. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 54. Using this technique, all the denominators will become 270. Now we do the numerators. One times 45 is 45. 6 times 45 is 270. 2 times 30 is 60. 9 times 30 is 270. 3 times 54 is 162. 5 times 54 is 270. Now all we need to do at this point is add the numerators of the three fractions. So we have 267 over 270. Now we could simplify this fraction. Notice that both the numerator and denominator are divisible by three. <music> 267 divided by three is 89. 270 divided by three is 90. So we get the simplified fraction, 89 over 90, 
and that's how you can add three fractions together.